All right, so, hi guys. Um, yeah, unexpected vlog. Well, okay, probably expected vlog considering I tweeted about it. <laughs> uh, I just got out of episode Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Um, I'm going to try and do this in a format like we tried to do the Age of Ultron video from a few months back. Going to give a sp kind of more of a spoiler-free thoughts to everything, and then I'll let you guys know when I start hitting spoiler territory, <laughs> that sort of thing. Um... If I forget to, if, if they get too meshed up in the video, I will let you guys know when, in the comments in the doobly-doo or whatever. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was a hell of a ride. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, it, it was great. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I might muck up some of the names, a little bad with them a little bit, but, um, uh, Ray, Ray, her name, right? Yes. Um... Yeah, dreamy. <laughs> I mean, she's a cute girl who kicks a lot of ass. Holy shit! <laughs> um, you know, just she's she's she is dreamboat. <laughs> um, well, all the characters really are very enjoyable. Um, you know, all, all you know, everybody from Rilo Ken or the Kylo Ren. I I keep getting those mixed up. <laughs> um, but um, you know, from Han Solo, who yay. We have Han, um, to Finn, to, uh, I, I think, what was it? What was his name? Poe, I think? Yeah. You know, they all are very enjoyable. Um, very enjoyable characters. BB-8, yeah, immediate cuteness proximity was, was in effect. I was like, yee! <laughs> so I was like, immediate cute. Um, ah, oh, lordy. <laughs> um, and it looked like, you know, you know, it, it, it looked like it was a good cross between, in terms of production value, the prequels and the originals. Because I know they use, like, a lot of practicals, too. Um, use practicals along with CGI, which looks like it's a good thing. Looks like it's a good marriage of the two. Yay! <laughs> At least to my eyes. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, oh, God. It, it just... I, I got the 2.30 showing. Alright, so... I, you know, it started at 2... No, not 2.30. 2.45, I'm sorry. It is 5.31 right now. <laughs> so, it was a good two, two and a half hour movie. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. So, uh, and it doesn't feel like it. It, ah, it, it, it felt like it could have went on longer. Because the pacing was just that good. It's like, sudden boom, 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 boom. You know, you got all these little nods to, to you know, previous films. And that's good. Um, some of it, a lot of it was towards the beginning. <laughs> It's like, let's get this out of the way. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. And then let's get to the major plot. Um, uh, uh, speaking of the plot... Um, oh, well, actually, before we get into the plot, overall, really good movie, goddamn good movie, motherfucking goddamn good movie, go see it. <laughs> I will be getting it when it's released on, on DVD, Blu-ray, iTunes, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> Can't wait to watch it, uh, can't wait to watch it in the truck. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Ah, so good. So good. Um, but yeah. Um, all right. So that's, that's, that being said, uh, from here on out is, uh, let's see, we're at about, probably about four minutes after editing or whatever. Uh, we're going to hit into spoiler territory a little bit. Um, probably not going to spend too much time because it's fucking hot down here. Uh, a little stuffy and, you know. People are going to be wondering why I'm talking into a camera because I don't live in I don't live in places like Springfield, Illinois. <clears throat> uh, Brad, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> um, oh God. Okay, so overall plot. Instead of the Empire, we now have the First Order. First Order, Third Reich. Uh, the imagery is there. The parallels are there. <laughs> so we have them. They're trying to squash out the. It's not the rebels; it is the resistance, you know, because obviously they're resisting the first order, and the Senate is behind them, um, as we come to find out. And well, why are they want to crush them? Well, what do you expect? They want to rule the galaxy, of course, you know that sort of thing, naturally, because bad guys do that. And we're at during the opening scene, we're treated we're treated to uh, looks into each of the you know major major characters. Um, like Finn, who starts, who starts out as a stormtrooper, and once, you know, once his squad gets into the, I, I, 
I, I want to say it's Joppa, Jaka, Jaco, Jaka, Jaka, Jaku, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, Tatooine Light. <laughs> I'll put it that. Oh, Tatooine Light. Um, ah, again, apologies if I, if I fuck up names. Um, you know, they're, they're looking for this information that will lead them to Luke Skywalker, who is a bit of a legend at this point. Understandably so. He destroyed a Death Star. He took out Emperor Palpatine. Um, for all intents and purposes, they, they feel he probably killed Vader, even though we know he didn't. Data Vader kind of, you know, sacrificed himself and, and died. Um... So, and it's in BB-8, little, little BB-8, and at that point, he's owned by uh, 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 Poe, Poe, I forget his last name, and, you know, by the time the first, first part is over, Poe ends up captured, the village that he was hiding in is just destroyed, Finn is horrified, and he's like, uh-uh, fuck this shit, I, I can't do this, um, uh, um, da -da -da -da. you know, and of course, BB-8 gets away, runs into Ray later on, which we'll get to. Ray is dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we get our first glimpse of Rilo Ken. Uh, Kylo Ren, Rilo Ken. Ugh. I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be saying it wrong half the time, wrong the right part of the time. I don't remember which. I, I my, I'm being dyslexic on that one. I don't know why. Yeah, I shouldn't be. You know what? Ah. <laughs> uh. You know what? I'm actually going to take a moment. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Fuck it. I'll take too much. I'll take too long. Um, <laughs> yeah, glimpses of Rilo Ken, and he is a bit. He he is a wow. He is a bit of a child in some ways. Um, if something goes wrong, he wrecks shit. <laughs> I was like, holy shit! I don't, I've never seen any Sith act that way. Outside of maybe Anakin, well, pre Sith, pre Sith Anakin. Um, but then, but then when we saw Anakin act the way he did, you know, he was he slaughtered a whole bunch of sand people because, well, they kidnapped, tortured, and killed his mom. Um, Rilo Ken, he does that because you know his mission didn't go well enough. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> granted they're important missions. Um, you know, and I like his I like his lightsaber. And as I think I've seen others note on like social media or whatever, um, those, those, those little guards, they do have their uses <laughs> as, as, uh, Finn and unfortunately found out later on in the film. Oh, Lordy. Um, but yeah, and he, they are controlled by, oh God, I, I am so bad. I forgot, I forgot the, forgot the big bad name and it's obvious he is the big bad. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, Palpatine's, you know, you know, new Palpatine. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I forget. I, I, the name is just kind of just, choop, you know, uh, but, um, but yeah, he's, he was seduced to the dark side by this other guy after being trained a bit by Luke. And it turns out, and I'm, I'm glad that nobody on social media has really put out who uh, Rilo Ken is. He's Han Solo and Princess Leia's son. So, so we do. Ha so Solo, canonically in terms of the films, does have a son, at least a son. Um, and, and he was force sensitive. He was sent to train with Luke, and then once you know he, he was seduced to the dark side, and Luke felt it was his fault, and so he went into hiding. He's been in hiding this whole time. Oh, maybe not this whole time. Maybe the past. Oh, probably ten years or so. Maybe ten or fifteen years. I'm guessing. Um, because this, I believe, takes place 30 years after Return of the Jedi. Ah, also got a bit of a thing in here, so I apologize for that. Um, mm. ah, so, Rilo Ken, you know, he... What the fuck? Ah, now I see where Brad has his problems. <laughs> um, let me, let me... Turn on the car here. There we go. That hopefully that'll help a bit. Uh, back to the horrible car lighting. <laughs> um, and, and and pardon the AC here. Um, so where was I? Rilo Ken. Um, you know he, he's wanting to find the last bit of the map because the the first order has most of the map of the galaxy, 
and BB-8 has this like little final part that that they need, and they have, and that's the part that the alliance, I, not the reliance, the resistance needs, and so of course they they both are trying to butt heads over it. Um, uh, Finn, for his part, uh, he gets a dressing down by General what's her name? I forget her name. I am so sorry. Um, but you know he gets a dressing down by her, and. You know, he, he ends up helping Poe escape after, after, uh, Rilo Ken gets the, the, the information about BB-8 out of Rilo Ken, you know, using, you know, Jedi mind sucking powers. <laughs> ah, which, uh, some people will be like, wait, wait, they didn't have that before. Well, you know what? It's the force. It's the living force. What do you expect? <laughs> New things develop all the time. I mean, I'm pretty sure at one point somebody would have, I don't know, uh, make it, put your own thing down there in the doobly-doo. Um, what else? What else? What, 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 lots of more to go. Trust me. Um, <laughs> um, ma, 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 ma. but uh, let, let, let me go back to BB-8 and, and his thing because he kind of threads throughout the whole movie. BB-8 runs into Ray, who is a bit of a scavenger on on Tatooine Light, whose real name I forget at the moment, and you know she she takes him in and. He wants to help him, you know, wait for whoever is supposed to be coming for him. That would be Poe, who, once Finn helps Poe escape, they, they escape in a TIE fighter. Finn finds out, hey, I'm pretty good at shooting these guns. You know, all that good stuff. Really great sequence. <laughs> but they end up crash landing, and it looks like Poe is, is, is killed and taken under the sands in the, in the, in the uh, destroyed TIE fighter. Um, but, um, you know, so Finn is on his own. He finds a, he finds a nearby village, and then comes across Ray in trouble because they're trying to get BB-8 and gets her out of there. And that's when the First Order decide, "Hey, we're gonna come fuck up your shit because you got the droid we're looking for." Ah, uh, so they escape on, interestingly enough, the Millennium Falcon. Ah, <laughs> uh, and and they end up escaping, and 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 uh, they get picked up by you know some. Th some big ship that Finn thinks is the First Order, but it turns out it's the new ship for uh, Han and Chewie. Yay! Uh, which, and of course, they're glad to have the Millennium Falcon back, but, you know. <laughs> you know, after, after a run-in with, like, some local space gangs that end up getting devoured by a couple of monsters that Solo and Chewie were, were, were smuggling over to somebody, um, they get out on the Falcon, and, and it turns out that Rey is also very adept with machines, uh, like, you know, in ships and everything. Like, she helped fix the Millennium Falcon, got it flight-worthy. She helped Han and Chewie. She was able to be Han's co-pilot while Chewie was incapacitated. Um, you know, being very adept. Um, to the point where Han even offers her a job. He's like, hey, you know what? I need more of a crew. And, you know, at, and all this time, she's wanting to get back home because she's trying to wait for family. Um, by the way, I'm calling it right now. She is Luke's daughter. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. Uh, I'm calling it now. Do, they don't say in the movie, but, you know, she she is Luke's daughter. Uh, so, anyway, they get to another planet, which name I tend to forget. And and I think I, I think the way they end up getting there was they get, I think they go into hyperspace out of the ship. Which, which hey, why not, you know? I mean, it's, it's, I, I, I drew a parallel between that and a moment from one of the Dune prequels where they take one of those huge goddamn highliners and just have it fold space right off of it, right out of a cavern on Ix, which, you know, all their cities are underground, by the way. So, you know, and it just winks out of existence and back into space. I think, I, you know, I figured that's something akin to that, except Star Wars does it a lot cooler. <laughs> it's just, that's a lot, that's a lot more fun. But, well, then again, you're just going light speed. Um, in the Star Wars, so anything in your way is, you know, obliterated. <laughs> and you could be obliterated too. You know, that's the danger. Um, so, what was it? So they get to this other place, you know, their, their, their cantina type scene. Meet up with this, uh, one, for lack of a better term, alien lady, who, who, invent, who eventually helps Finn get passage, like, to the Outer Rim or what have you. And it's that, and it's that point that Rin, Ray and Finn have, have a little heart to heart, and Finn confesses, Yeah, I used to be a stormtrooper, and up, up to this time he was trying to say, Yeah, I'm with the resistance, yada yada yada. And he confines in BB 8, because, well, you know, 
Because uh, what else are you going to do but confide in a droid that only speaks in beeps and boops? Even though she can understand him. <laughs> but he ends up, you know, swearing into secrecy and all that good stuff. Um, or, or somehow gets him to not tell her. Uh, wow. So after that, you know, they, they looks like they're going to be parting. And at one point, Ray goes down into the basement of this thing. And she f comes across a chest, and inside is, I'm, I'm going to call it the Skywalker lightsaber. Because it used to be Anakin's, then it was Luke's, and now it's there. And I have to question, how the fuck did they get that from Cloud City? Because that's the last place I saw that. It was, it was in Luke's, you know, severed hand, tumbling through Cloud City. I'm willing to bet they'll answer that in the next, one of the next two movies. <laughs> But she gets in and she has all these flashes and visions and everything. It scares the shit out of her. And she's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get me out of here. No, 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 no. Um, and then, and then, of course, the First Order comes a-calling because, of course, they have their spies. And the Resistance have their spies there, too. So so the groups get there. They, 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 you know, they fight over the robot. The Resistance ends up winning the day. Meanwhile... The First Order have their own planet killer, you know, planet destroyer, you know, Death Star type thing, except it's not a Death Star, it's an actual fucking planet. Um, so it's the Death Planet, as I'm calling it. And it has, it has enough firepower, they draw it directly from this, from the local sun, it has enough firepower to destroy entire systems. Not just one planet, like, several planets, and I'm sitting here like, Oh, shit, people gonna be pissed. And I believe that's how they took out the Senate and the Republic. <laughs> the New Republic is, like, gone. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not the entire Republic. Not in one system, I'd hope. But we'll find out. Ah, I'll have to stop the system with Coruscant, because that, be, that would suck. Um, where, where, where else? What else? Oh, yeah, and in the midst of all the fighting, you know, between the... the um, resistance and the first order. Uh, Rilo Ken ends up kidnapping uh, um, 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 Ray, and as he's as he's trying to get the information out of her because you know she's seen the map, he realizes this and is like, "Hey, I could just use my mind grabbing powers and just get it out of her brain. Hmm, why not? You know, good move. Except she's resisting the fuck out of it, and he can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome." <laughs> It turns out, hey, she's force sensitive, and and she realizes this, and she starts doing different things. Um, and and then some people would probably ask, well, wait, how would she know how to do the Jedi mind trick, or or this or that or whatever? And honestly, I mean, if Luke Skywalker and the Jedi are at least myths and legends in the galaxy, then I'm pretty sure they can figure out, okay, so the Jedi, if Luke Skywalker is real, then the Jedi mind trick is real. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can do it. Took her a couple of tries, but she finally got it, <laughs> which was, which was pretty good. Uh, um, and then you know she escapes while everybody else is looking for her. They en they end up meeting up, and and oh god! And I skipped over a big revelation that happened between this time and the beginning of the movie. Uh, Rilo Ken is uh, I no, well no, I didn't skip over that because he I think I did mention he is Han and Leia's do uh, son, not daughter. Wow, that was a bad one. <laughs> but no, he's Han and Leia's son, and eventually you do get the the you know you, you do get the uh, father son uh, confrontation, but not after, but not until uh, you know they get BB-8 to the Resistance base. You know they get the last piece of the map, all that good stuff, and well, the piece of the map. I say the last piece because, well, it turns out R2-D2, who's been there kind of just in low power mode, he's got the rest of the goddamn map. <laughs> um, and he's, he's, I guess he's been in a uh, droid version of depression since Luke left. Uh, so, so I was like, huh, R2-D2 is more human than most droids. Eh, nothing wrong with it, and, and I'm, and I'm kind of glad he snaps out of it at the end. But, um, you know, humanizing the robot character? I like it. I, I, to be to be clear, I think it's a good point. Um, oh lordy! <laughs> so they make the so using uh, Finn's knowledge of you know of, of the of uh, how the planet is and all that. 
you know, where things are and, and certain other aspects. Even though he worked the set, even though he worked in sanitation. <laughs> uh, which I love Han Solo's big old, what the, f what, wait, what the, f what <laughs> thing about it. So, uh, excuse me. Ah, lordy. Um, so anyway, they get in there and they, you know, like I said, they, they end up, they end up running into Ren. Um, ah, uh, yeah, that's her name, yeah. <laughs> my name, my, my name, my name is like going, blah, 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 blah. so, anyway. Uh, so of course they run into her and then they, and I think Han and Chewie, you know, they start setting up charges around the, the, the uh, I want to say it's like the power base, the power plant or whatever it's called. And... As they finish up, uh, you know, Rilo Ken comes in, and there's the confrontation between father and son, and, you know, and then they talk, and, and you see more humanizing side of Kylo Ren, um, and we'll also find out his first name is Ben, because I distinctly heard a B coming out of Han's mouth when he called down to his son. So, that's, to me, that's not Rilo Ken, that's Ben fucking Solo. <laughs> Or Ben Organa, who knows? Um, or Ben Skywalker, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so so they, they they have their conversation, and it turns out that it sounds like the dark side is ripping him apart, um, like like inside or what have you. And he, he tells he tells Han, you know, I, I need to do something, but I need your help. And Han is like, sure, you know, I'll help you. And 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 he. Uh, Rilo Ken, you know, he extends his lightsaber. Han grabs it, and I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing the twist, seeing it twist, but it activates and goes. And yeah, this is this is one of the big things with that I kind of saw coming, but the impact was it was was still it still has a boom right there, and it ends up killing Han. Han Solo is dead by the end of the movie. He was run through with a lightsaber. He fell off the platform into the abyss. And, you know, I'm pretty sure his body was blown up with the goddamn planet. So, yeah. So Han Solo is dead. It looked like Chewie was... It looked like Chewie had bit it when he, he detonated all the bombs. But, you know, Chewie survived. Um, I was able to hit pick up our other heroes towards the end of the movie. Um, which, at that point, there, there was also the confrontation with Rilo Ken... Um, Finn tried. <laughs> Poor guy just couldn't handle it. Um, he ended up getting knocked out. And that's when Finn is... That's... Did I say Finn? Finn is the one who got knocked out. And and then Ren... Ren? Yeah. You know, she was like, oh, hell no. And then and it's like... She gets... She, she just starts, you know, fighting him and, and, and doing really damn well. And I know some... I, I heard some commenter... Because while I wasn't spoiled, I did... I wasn't outright spoiled. I, I, I did see somebody complain that's like, well, wait, how did she not end up with a with a lightsaber? And uh, and you look back at the movie, it's like, hi, she had a staff, you know, that she could wield around, and a lightsaber is just like half a staff, you know. That well, any sword is like that, you know, except usually sharper. Um, <laughs> in in terms of how it handles, it's like half a staff. So if you can handle a staff, odds are you might be able to handle a sword, at least in this universe. At least. Um, or at least for her. Who knows? Um, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, we're good on battery power. Um, so they fight. She damages him pretty well. Holy shit. You know, and, and before she's able to kill him, you know, the planet as it's, you know, you know, kind of destructing. Because, of course, the, the resistance ends up being able to blow up the base. The bombs didn't do a complete enough job, but it left enough room for the other X-Fighters to get in there, blow it the rest of the way up, and there you go. Chain reaction starts. Um, all that good stuff. And as the planet's falling apart, you know, their fight is stopped, and she gets the hell away, gets Finn back to the Millennium Falcon, you know, or he's back on the Alliance... Not, no, uh, Resistance Planet, recovering. Um, and now that we know where Luke is... Um, uh, um, Ren is going, and she has found Luke by the end of the movie, and she is holding his lightsaber out to him. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if he... We don't know what his reaction is going to be. It looked like... He looked like he was like, huh. 
Oh, you found me. Okay. Uh, um, what's wrong? <laughs> Who are you? You know, not disinterested, but just kind of, you know, he looked weary. But, you know, Luke, of, of course, at this point, I would expect him to be weary. Um, so, so, and, and that's actually where the movie ends up leaving us. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then I don't, and I didn't cover everything, um, obviously. Um, and of course there are things that, you know, you really should watch the movie anyway. But, um, but yeah, Han Solo's death, I saw it coming. Um, a little bit, once I, once I heard, once I saw the two, him and Leia talking about, you know, if you see our son, bring him home, that sort of thing. And I'm sitting there thinking, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Okay, body, prepare yourself. He's going to die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know. And it's like, oh, my God. You know? It's like you saw it, and it happens, and then there's, there's like a couple points in the movie where everybody is just fucking pissed. You know, when you see, when you know the good guys are going to be fucking pissed, and Han Solo being run through with a lightsaber and, and just pretty much tossed off the thing, yeah, Chewie was pissed, and, and uh, you know all of our heroes were pissed. He just, yeah. And Leia knew before anything else. She knew. Because, hey, she's Force-sensitive, too. Um, which is how Rilo Ken is able to call Darth Vader grandfather. So there's that connection. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, as I said at the beginning, very good. God, motherfucking goddamn good movie. Um... I know I'm a lot of I'm a lot of positive about it um, throughout throughout this video, and you know eventually I you know I'll probably be able to nitpick and bring out the negatives, but that uh, you know honestly I enjoyed the ride and it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to own it on video. <laughs> uh, I probably won't have time to see it before I have to get back on the road, but um, well see it again before I get back on the road. Um, so eh, you know, but uh, so when it gets out on video. I'll, I'll grab it just to be redundant there. <laughs> this is why I need a second person when I do these. <laughs> but it was more of a spur of the moment thing, and of course it's on Christmas, so um, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask anybody any locals, you know any local producers to come with me, uh, you know all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that's it. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Seriously, go see it. It is worth the money. And and that's Becky texting me back because I, I told her that I did see it coming and it did not lose its impact. Oh, wow, my phone is just, boom, it's just all over the place right now. Um, so, yeah, with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, it's good to be doing some kind of a video at least. <laughs> Um, and hopefully starting in January, I'll be able to do maybe a little something more, maybe more of movie vlogs, who knows? Um, maybe with Becky, maybe without, because, um, I'm planning on, on, uh, taking my home time up towards Chicago and everything. And that's where she lives. Um, I'll see if I can't talk her into one or two of these or something. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh but, uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I am boiling up in here, uh, just for the sake of you guys having some kind of, uh, you know, less background noise than normal. Um, it's not horrible yet, but although the windows are fucking steaming, holy shit. <laughs> oh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, who knows, maybe in a month or two, I'll, I'll be able to do more of these. I hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, so, uh, again, go see this. Seriously, see it. J.J. <laughs> Abrams, d you know, did a really w great job directing and, oh, uh, Ren. She's dreamy. <laughs> uh, but I like, I like, I like strong women, so. So, uh, yeah. Which, which means, uh, what's his name? Furiosa in, in, in Fury Road probably would be, yeah, I, I would probably have the same reaction to her, too. Um, but at any rate, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.